Okay, let's get ready for routing. Let's set up some software. So the first thing we want to do is get our computer going and select our CNC configurator, our command CNC configurator, and we'll open that up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to new and we're going to select a profile to copy and we'll call this router. We're going to switch our machine type to router. We're going to go to outputs. And let's make a button. Call it spindle torch on. I'm going to create a screen button here. Type in router. And we'll save it. There's our router. So let's bring that over here. Now we want to prepare our, our cam. So let's open sheet cam. Uh, the first thing we want to do is save this profile. So we're going to go to option, machine, save and load. Let's save this profile. Let's go to the desktop, their factory files. We'll save it as the plasma machine. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the post processor. So let's go in here and let's import a post. Let's look for our router, Rev2. Okay. We'll hit OK. Actually, now that we've changed the post, let's go to save and load, and we'll save this machine as the router. Okay, and these are in the factory files folder. So whatever um, you have at the top, if we have plasma, we want to cut with plasma, we'll drag it to the top, and we'll click it and drag it, or we'll just click it, and it brings it to the top. Now that's active, that has a different post processor. The router is, is going to also, you know, have a different post processor. So if we want to route, we can click that. I'm bringing a drawing. Just look at our test here. Okay. Same thing. Now I'm going to do a contour. And pick the outside offset. Layer, tool, you know, cut depth minus half inch. Yeah, let's go up to like 200 inches a minute. 80,000. And uh, that's it, okay. Let's see our cut there. Okay, now we're going to make code. We'll save it, test to r.tap in the desktop, tap files for cutting. Okay. Created router code. Okay, so now we're going to open our router profile here. Okay. Um, let's open some G code. We'll go to desktop, tap files for cutting. Test R2. Now it shows us we didn't home our machine, so we get those red squares will be out of our travel. But the cool thing about the router software is that it will show you the position of your router, even if you're doing 3D contouring which SheCam doesn't support, but um, Fusion 360, VCarve, different softwares will support. And then the other thing we want to do here um, is we want to make sure that we skip touch-offs. So we'll click the manual button, hit skip touch-offs. It will bring the, the uh, router bit down to the top of the material. It will zero Z there. And um, all functions should be automatic. As soon as you hit run, it should start the router. Some adjustments might be the like plunge rate in sheet cam. 
um, that you know you might want to slow down a little bit make sure that router bit is up to speed before it, it rapids down because the, the motion will move fast uh, but that's it in a nutshell happy routing I know a lot of people enjoy routing on their star lab and um, we really want you to as well thank you